Hi there and welcome to Everyday Objects and Not So Everyday Studies. My name is Stuart Lawrence and I'm a professor in aerospace engineering here at the University of Maryland. My research focuses on hypersonic aerodynamics and this is another way of saying things that travel really, really fast in the atmosphere. Just how fast? Well, as a rule of thumb, hypersonic means anything faster than around Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. So just for comparison, if you're driving in your car down the highway, you'll be doing around Mach 0.1. Um, if you're in an airliner, say crossing the ocean, you might be hitting around Mach 0 0.85 or so. And the fastest fighter jets in the Air Force, they can reach Mach 2.5 roughly. So that means a hypersonic vehicle will be traveling twice as fast as the fastest fighter jet, which is pretty fast. So in this series, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking normal looking everyday objects and seeing how they behave at hypersonic speeds. So what we're looking for is suggestions from you, our audience. So if you have a suggestion for an everyday object, um, please send it to hypersonic-everyday-objects at gmail.com and tell us why you think this object will be interesting. And every couple of months or so, we'll be taking one of your suggestions, we'll make a model out of it using our 3D printer, and we'll be flying it in our um, hypersonic wind tunnel over here. And we especially encourage suggestions from our younger viewers out there. So for this, our first episode, um, our everyday object is going to be this little guy here, Turpy. So Turpy is a scaled down replica of the Diamondback Terrapin statue you can find sitting outside the main library at the University of Maryland. Terrapins are pretty good swimmers, but today we're going to be finding out just how well they can fly at hypersonic speeds. So here we see Turpy hanging in the wind tunnel. We have suspended him by threads from the roof of the tunnel so that when the Mark VI flow arrives from this direction here, it'll break the threads, leaving him free to fly. And there we go. Okay, let's pause here. We're using a special imaging system called a shadow graph to make this movie. A shadow graph helps us to visualize important flow structures. Here we see a thin line in front of Turpy. This is a flow feature known as a shock wave, which is something that appears whenever you travel faster than Mark 1. Now, we see that as Turpy moves back in the test section, he starts to rotate a little bit, but after a while he seems to find a nice configuration that he can fly stably in. So not bad at all for a little terrapin. Okay, let's play that one more time. Now for those of you concerned about animal welfare, note that we have oriented Turpy so that his protective shell is facing forward into the flow. And you might note that in this configuration, he doesn't actually look all that different from the type of capsules that we use to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Okay, so for those of you who have always wondered just how well a turtle can fly at Mark 6, now you finally have your answer. If you have a better suggestion for something you'd like to see flying hypersonically, please email it to us at hypersonic-everyday-objects at gmail.com and don't forget to tell us why you think it will be interesting. So thanks for watching and until next time.